Hey, it's Cal here, and uh, figured uh, I'd do a video. You know, I want to say we're like still in the full moon. You know, it's like usually like a day before and a day after, and there's like kind of that window in between. I feel like I just got a huge release. I just meditate. I actually don't know what time it is. I'm here in like northern Michigan. It's, it's so cool up here. I'm from Nebraska, so I didn't grow up around a whole lot of trees. <laughs> but, man, I don't know how long I was in this meditation. I went deep, and this isn't anything new to me, you know, but it seems new because I haven't gone this deep for, for a long time, it feels like. And, if you, and I go deep often, but I mean, like, I was in this meditation for quite a few hours, I think. You know, more than an hour at least, more than more than two, or, at least three or four, maybe even five hours. I don't know. It seemed like a long time. You know, just like doing shadow work, looking at my past, moving the energy into all the nooks and crannies. You know, going to the stars, going to the earth, connecting with people. I really connected with my divine life partner, um, which is which is really confusing for me at this time because. And, and right confusing together like it's like it's like we're merging our energies together and so it's like i have to really come from a state of trust here because the external world is not reflecting that to me and you know she's being unresponsive to me and and not not uh reciprocating my love in this world so it makes me like question my sanity like am i delusional like and then on top of that my parents my dad thinks i'm delusional and my dad thinks i'm a stalker and then on top of that her mom because i commented something on her youtube and then on her facebook her mom threatened to call the cops on me so it's like to like my mom if i didn't like stop commenting or whatever so it's like really frustrating like you know, I just really got to trust in the divine, you know. it God, it feels like a Romeo and Juliet. I can't even remember exactly how that how that story goes. But I think that's kind of what, what it's like happening right now, which is just like dumb. I don't want anything to, I don't want to deal with any of that. So it's like, you know, I'm just going to focus on myself, right? And, you know, sometimes when you go outside of yourself to meet your needs... That is focusing on yourself and, and uh, focusing on your other self in, in your in yourself and finding that balance is like a relationship and like a normal thing, right? So I've really just been looking for communication with this person. But anyways, I went really deep and I did some throat singing and uh, and some breath work and, and like connecting my light body like really far, like people call it like the earth star like going really far out and it's like i visualize you know i think lake michigan is that way like the north northern part of the upper peninsula of lake michigan and so it's like i visualized like my energy like a beam of light in a way and just feeling it and, and visualizing it and connecting to my earth star like way that way i was laying on my bed and then around the earth and then like how it went around the earth and connected and it's like just like trying to connect all parts of my light body and just like really feeling around and just you know not like holding on to like any certain dimension of it or anything like that i know a lot of people like look at things like oh merkaba it's like that's the ultimate all all and a lot of people don't even understand what that is and, and i sure don't but i do understand that everything has an electromagnetic field that's what maha mudra is that's what dharma is and in in any universal harmony that aligns with that outside of that right i'm 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 kind of guessing right now that 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 that's dharma or maha mudra but the ultimate all, all is that troidal field that vortex and then the center of that is the truth which is which is stillness which is still everything which is the source of everything and that the center of that is in the heart so finding your way into the heart and becoming that witness as a pendulum swings of your karma, which is all these seeds that you plant within your Mahamudra or your Dharma. So there's nothing wrong with karma. It's just learning how to grow your plants and, and uh, you know, like cultivating your plants in such a way and then learning how to create new cultivars and breeding your plants in such a way, creating new seed within your garden, Dharmic garden, you know, your Mahamudra garden. And at the same time, you help Mother Earth with her 
universal Mahamudra, her terodial field, her electromagnetic field, her dharma, help her grow her garden. And then you can also at the same time, by doing this, assist other people that want assistance or just your sheer presence helps that. And also in like meditation or throat singing, it's like, like I, like my thing is, is I supercharge the grids. You know, I live in my bus. I travel throughout the U, I've been traveling throughout the U.S., you know, just, just riding on a feather, man, <laughs> just like winging it, you know, because that's what archangels do. See, I'm an archangel, right? I'm an archangel. I'm the architect, right? The, the light ship technician, you know, I'm my own light ship technician. I'm the technician of this mothership, you know, of mother earth we're on. And I'm a technician of it. I'm a grid worker. You know, I'm an architect, you know, arc is like the, the ship, the boat that took Noah and his soul family and his family through the flood of the Holy Spirit. Cause as the magnetic field of mother earth gets weaker, It, it, it lets in more radiation, which which creates a balancing effect where it awakens our electromagnetic field. And I want to say the plants as well in like other animals. And so it's like there's this balancing effect where as Mother Earth gets weaker, it's like it fills us up. And so it's then we create this electromagnetic field to get through the storm of, of radiation when Mother Earth. Earth's electromagnetic field goes to complete zero, what, whatever that entails, if that even ever happens, you know? Maybe it's just there's this tipping point of, okay, we're full enough, supercharge the, the electromagnetic field of Mother Earth, right? <laughs> my hair is like this because um, <laughs> I spilled coconut oil all over my bed and, and, <laughs> and I decided to not waste it. <laughs> but anyways, um... I feel a lot better now, you know, it's like, I really, I'm a Hayoka empath, is way, well, I don't really want to claim to be that, but, you know, most of my life, I've really portrayed that type of empath, where I've mirrored a lot of people, and been kind of like this sacred clown, and just, like, done the complete opposite of, of my family members, of the world, I like, in it, I feel like that's what I have to do, you know? You know, right, this time in July, it's like, everyone's like, get out, and go do the stuff, and build the stuff, and it's like, 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 I keep trying to do that, and it's like, well, I don't have the people here with me to do this. It's like, okay, I want to build my light body. You know, I got to do the opposite of what everyone else does. Go deep inside, build my light body, so that then in the fall, it's like, I shine, and everyone's got, like, all these material, physical things that they built, and it's like, well, here you go. Just watered their plants by manifesting water, by vibrating the spaces within the spaces and creating it from nothing, right? But life's a snow globe, right? You know, Mother Earth is like a snow globe. You can't add or take away anything from it. So it's like when you create water out of thin air is you have to you have to build up the merit or find a way to create that balance so that you don't disturb the harmonious flow of things, right? And that's the cool thing about water is there's actually this relationship between solar flares, like the electromagnetic frequencies coming from the sun and the radiation from the sun interacting with, I think, the ionosphere or something within the atmosphere that creates water. So a lot of people think that's what caused a lot of floods in the past as well. You know, especially at this time, as the magnetic field gets weaker, it makes makes our atmosphere more vulnerable to create water. So a lot of people think that that might have been what the story of Noah's Ark came from, which is also like a flood of the Holy Spirit. So I'm going to end it there. I hope this ben benefits people and you know I just went really deep and cleared and you know I just really want to connect with my life partner I feel so connected with her but but physically and grounded and, and be able to move forward in life and there's a divine timing and a lot of timelines kind of like came up to the surface just to be shown that like that wasn't the way right so yeah I don't I kind of want to think of like union soon with with this partnership and it's like union with ourselves first and i feel like i'm in that union but it's like every all the seeds are still being uprooted and maybe this was the last of it you know maybe this was the last of it i feel like i went extremely deep went way back to when i was like my first memories you know that shadow work so important you know that's that's like what determines people that's what determines people right now it's like it's about going deep how deep did you go you know how deep did you go? How much spirit did you bring into your body? How much space did you clear for spirit to come in? 
you know, a lot of people try to do the external work and stuff like that, and that's not really where it's at, you know. That is one part of it, and also doing external work really does help you do internal work as well. Sometimes to do the internal work and to clear out the inner fears, you have to face the fears on the external world, you know. So external work, it's vice versa. It's vice versa. It's it's inner and the outer, the outer and the inner, the left and the right, the right and the left, above, so below, below, so above. And beyond I imagine, drawn outside the lines of reason, push the envelope, watch it bend.